What? Police say the suspect identified as Sean Sanders is a homeless man from Los Angeles with an extensive criminal record. Sanders had tried to drag the victim into the woods. A witness heard her screams. Sanders then forcing the victim into the van. Police eventually tasing Sanders as they pulled the woman to safety. Inside, they found the back of the vehicle had been converted into a cage. Wire covering the windows, blankets blocking any view. The doors chained shut. Remember. You're my eyes and ears, Lori. Don't foul this up. Don't disgrace our family. Wednesday at 8. Yes, Grandmother. She will be sorry than anyone else who loves her. Someone is stalking me. <laughs> what happened? I think I know who it is. You let her slip through your fingers twice. I'm not playing any of your sick games. Escaping my stock. I lived to tell the truth. Typically, we don't reveal the names or faces of sexual assault victims, but Heidi Damon asked us to show hers. Overall, I feel great. See, you're already ashamed. You can't even look at me. Javon Cooper was just 16 years old when he attacked Heidi in an Ybor City parking garage two years ago. She was choked until she blacked out and later woke up naked from the waist down. Just one station there Friday afternoon when 23-year-old Devon Fuller spooked into the Broward County Jail. His alleged victim, a blind student, police say he grabbed her once outside, then again inside. It was at that point where the offender put his arms around her, grabbed her around the waist, and began to just uh, touch her in her private areas. The student was at a disadvantage, unable to see, and they say her attacker took full advantage. Police arrested him Friday. He now faces several charges. Other students say it's a good reminder. Try to never walk alone.